एस चांद प्रेजेंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम Welcome to the Astand Academy. Myself Narendra Kaur. In the first part, we have covered about the uh, buck and the boost converter, and now in the second part, we will cover about the working or circle diagram of this DC-DC converter. Now, if you want to study this topic in detail, refer this book from S. Chand Publishing. e-book link has been given in the description box okay, now welcome to the astand academy or oh, now let us begin the topic so now the circle diagram of this is now here is a switch s this is a inducting coil this is the first part now here is a diode that is connected to the capacitor this is the second part along which here we will get the output now this is the first part this is the second part means this whole is divided into two parts now firstly begin with the understand about what is the first part so now in the first part Here is a switch. Now, when the DC power supply is on, firstly, when the switch is open, there are the two cases. First, the switch is open, and the second is the switch is closed. Means switch is open means that is not present over here. So, when the DC power supply is on, again in the inducting coil that is L. if this is a inducting coil so along the inducting coil the flow of current will takes place and that flow of due to that flow of current the emf that is induced in this case that means it will get charged or it will be get charged like this if this is a first one is a positive half cycle means if this is a positive over here then negative charge that will be develop over here when the switch is open so in this case the emf is induced in the coil so in the inducting coil the emf is induced and its inductance is given by if xl is a resistance that will be equals to how we can give its a resistance that xl that will be equals to r omega r or you can say that it is omega into rl what is rl here that is a resistance in the coil so that is given by this inductance in the coil is given by this that means as soon as the current is flowing in the coil means in the coil if the current is flowing like this again the flow of current that will induce a emf so the flow of current that is responsible for the induced emf that means emf is induced due to that emf the flux will changed the flux will change the flux is changed in the coil and that change in the flux is responsible that again according to lenz's law lenz's law that induced emf that will oppose the cause which produces it so due to which at the ends of the coil the charge will be developed that means we will get output across it so across this coil we will get the output value again now for the second part what is the second part over here here this is the second part now in the second part the diode is connected here is a capacitor this is a inducting coil now positive is here negative is here now when the negative charge is developed this is a capacitor plate now for the capacitor plate 
ड्यू टू नेगेटिव चार्ज विच इज डेवलप ओवर द इंडक्टिंग क्वाइल नाउ दे आर द टू प्लेट्स ऑफ द कैपेसिटर सो द नेगेटिव चार्ज विल डेवलप ओवर द कैपेसिटर सो हियर द नेगेटिव चार्ज विल बी डेवलप नाउ ड्यू टू दिस इंडक्शन मेथड वेन फॉर दन वेन ओवर द वन प्लेट ऑफ द कैपेसिटर चार्ज इज डेवलप एंड ड्यू टू इंडक्शन द चार्ज विल डेवलप ओवर द सेकेंड प्लेट ऑल्सो नाउ इफ द नेगेटिव चार्ज इज डेवलप ऑन दिस कैपेसिटर प्लेट the positive charge will be develop over here now again this how this this is a diode over here that means we are go, giving the positive charge to the p side and again if this is the positive charge which is connected to the p side and this is the n side then automatically the diode will be forward biased so in this case the diode will be forward biased means for the first half cycle means for the first half went to the inducting coil in the first half positive and negative charges these are developed due to the induced dmf and you can say that due to flow of current if this charges are developed due to this the capacitor is again get charged the capacitor is again charged now as the capacitor is charged its capacitance will affect the diode so due to this the diode will be forward biased the diode will be forward biased now if the diode is forward biased then what we will get then we will get higher output value that means across the diode the output value that will be large that means the depletion region that will be goes on decreasing the automatically we will get the higher output now for the second part again this is for when there occur charging of the inducting coil for the charging of inducting coil means when the power supply is on there occur charging of the inducting coil so when second part when there occur this discharging of this inducting coil now during the discharging of inducting coil so during this discharging of inducting coil again the emf is induced in this case and that will oppose the cause which produces it so again here is a negative again positive charge is developed over here then again now this is again connected to the capacitor plate so again to the capacitor plate positive charge will be develop over here and again when to the one plate of the capacitor positive charge is develop to the second plate the negative charge will be develop so there comes a negative charge now this negative charge again now here is a diode that will reverse bias to the diode so according to that in the reverse biasing the large amount of current that will be depleted in this case so the output that will be decreased so smaller output or you can say that we will get the output with the magnitude in the negative direction so that will be obtained in this case so there occur large number of cycles so the first there occur charging of the uh, inducting coil so during charging of inducting coil our diode is in the forward biased diode is forward biased while during discharging of conducting coil this diode is reverse biased again when there occur complete discharging of the conducting coil again due to power supply input power supply again charging of the inducting coil starts fir again during charging the diode will be forward biased we will get the output value with higher magnitude in the positive direction during discharging output will be maximum in the negative direction so this type of output will be obtained over here so this is a now if this is the input over here this is a dc power supply so input like this so this is a positive you can say that this is the on condition this is the off condition again off on condition this is through the input power supply so this first one that is for the input power supply now second is for the inducting coil now for the inducting coil when the input power supply is on so there is linear increase in the current that means 
एज अ करंट गोज इन इंक्रीज वोल्टेज गोज ऑन इंक्रीजिंग द करंट विल इंक्रीजेज दिस लीनियर इंक्रीज कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड इन द एक्सपोनशियल वे एज द देर अकर लार्ज नंबर ऑफ साइकिल आर रिपीटेड नो अगेन ड्यूरिंग डिस्चार्जिंग सो देर अकर डिक्रीज इन द करंट सो देर अगेन इंक्रीज एंड डिक्रीज सो दिस इज फॉर द इंडक्टिंग ऑयल so that means when the number of cycles are repeated this linear increase will goes to the exponential increase and decrease now next is for the capacitor now for capacitor during the charging mode here its voltage is negative again during the discharging mode its current is goes on increasing again then decreasing here occur the stable value so this type of graph that will be obtained for the capacitor now for diode for the forward bias its output is maximum again for the reverse bias it decreases again for the forward bias its maximum again it is decreasing exponentially so that is the output for the diode so this is the value of the voltage supplied for this is for the input first one is the input power supply second one is a cross a inducting coil this is a cross a capacitance and this is a cross the diode so how the input value that goes on changing across the three connecting units in the given circuit so firstly this is a input value that means the dc input that can be termed in some of you can say that that is a dc output that is obtained over here so this is a all about the dc dc converter so in the dc dc converter we have understood about the buck and the booster converter and about their circuit diagram how their input value is get affected and the how we will get the output value now if you want to study this topic in detail refer this book from as chance publishing e book link has been given in the description box and if you like this video please like share and subscribe and also press the bell icon for the future notification all rights reserved This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.